Hi guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman's Studio. Today we've got Jared in the chair. How are you, mate? Good, thanks. You good? Good, good. So, what's the plan? What are we doing today? Uh, so, I like the length on the back, but yeah. I feel like at the moment it's like really heavy. Okay. Well, the front just weighs all over my face like this. I kind of want to like take this up a little bit. Okay. Keep the length in the back, but maybe get some more like some layers, some texture going on. Okay. I've okay, got yeah. some pictures if you. Yeah, show us. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I probably see this quite a lot, but. Oh right, this okay, kind of yeah. Thing, okay. This kind of thing. Like, so you got, are you going for a mullet? Is that what you, the idea? Because uh, that's essentially what they are. I, I guess. I, I guess so. Okay. If, if that's what a mullet is, then I guess so. But I think I think it kind of. I mean, they they, they do vary. Obviously, yeah. like some some are like yeah, really extreme. I don't, extreme I don't and really stuff. want like really shaved and you know like a fringe and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I quite yeah. like to okay. keep like the bangs, but like okay. maybe like literally like just past the eye. Okay. But yeah. It's yeah, yeah. the it's the bulk on the sides that gets to me the most. I think it's just okay. Like, okay. I quite like how the. It's quite short here, but then it kind of flows into the back, you know. What I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Um, are you are you sure you want to lose all that length off the sides? It's going to be a big change, you know. I'm just, just only know. saying that because it's going to look very I'm, different I'm, today. I'm open. I'm open. Okay. To, um, all right. To yeah. Change, cool. But so? if, you, if you think it's not going to look good, then you never know until you do it. That's true. Unfortunately, a haircut like this, like a mullet or anything like uh, along the lines of these kind of hairstyles, mm -hmm. you just don't know until you do it. Yeah. I think you will. Yeah. Personally, based on how you dressed when you came in, I, can I just show them your jacket? Is that all right? Yeah, sure. So I think. This kind of like you know quite cool, quite cool jacket, right? I think your your sort of style will work really, really well with this okay. sort of haircut. I think personally, yeah. Um, I don't think I could pull it off because mm -hmm. how I tend to dress all the time. Yeah. But I think you you are a lot cooler than me, okay. so I think you could definitely pull it cool. off. But I just need you to just be aware that obviously by taking it off the ears, it's going to accentuate the back, mm -hmm. just so you're aware oh, yeah, of that. Yeah, and obviously fine. when we cut the fringe in as well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Sure. Well, I think this is something that we just have to talk about when we go through it. Mm -hmm. You already know the look. Yeah. yeah, I think I know the look. I just don't know whether it will look good on me. That's the thing. But I mean, I'm here it's now. It's the gamble, mate. It's yeah. the gamble. I mean, we, the thing is, right, we could play it safe. Yeah. We could play it safe. Mm -hmm. The problem with playing it safe is that it won't look like it. Yeah. That's the problem. Because I think if you were, if you were not going to get that kind of style, mm -hmm. or you weren't going to go anywhere near that kind of look, I don't think you, it's not going to look the same. Yeah. You know, if you, maybe if you took the, maybe you took the fringe down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe if the fringe is a bit shorter, that would probably look quite cool. But yeah. the problem you've got then is that it could look very 70s. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because you'd have like a shorter fringe and it would flick out like this. I don't know whether that would be kind too of like different. A shaggy look. Mm -hmm. It would be a bit of a kind of shag kind of look, yeah, I would yeah. say so. But I think it just depends whether you want to go, because the look you show me there are, yeah. they're both very similar. Obviously, I know that the, the other one was like quite a short fringe, but you know, we can still keep the kind of off centre part kind of thing yeah, going yeah. on for sure. Um, I mean, I honestly think you'll look really good with it. Okay. I really do. I think you've got the look and the style and everything for it. I think it's just going to be something that you're going to have to get used to, but yeah. I, I do think it'll look great. I trust you. Oh, yeah? yeah? Famous last words, you know what I mean? Yeah. And maybe we don't have to go as short as that on no, the ear. Yeah, do you know what I mean? We can, kind of, we can tailor it a little bit, you mm -hmm. know. I think um, what we should do first, I think we should cut the sides in first yeah. and get that like, kind of length. So we'll, we'll give it a wash condition and everything like that because it'll be easier to section and whatnot. Okay. Um, but I'll be able to see your hair as well. Yeah. But what what would be quite nice, I think, if we can create that kind of flow into the back yeah. first would be good. So we can have a little look at what we want to do over the years mm -hmm. and see where you think that should come to. Because obviously there's quite a lot of exposure yeah. on the ear on them photos. Yeah. The thing you can do though is you could push it away from your ear. So it yeah. doesn't necessarily, like, as you can see it now, right? Yeah. Imagine if you look at it on the right hand side now. It's the way mm -hmm. it's pushed away from your ear. Yeah. We, may, we might not have to cut it necessarily up to here sure. to still create the same kind of effect, so, but, but still get a similar effect to what the pictures are. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just the shape. It needs to be quite straight yeah. on. You I know what I mean? Yeah, I like that idea because yeah, yeah. I prefer, obviously, when you push it back, I think it just makes everything look a bit better. Yeah, like definitely. This. It, just, it just drowns me out. So. Yeah, 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 definitely. I yeah. think it's kind of getting rid of the problem area but keeping the things you like exactly. and just trying to make it work Yeah. in that kind of look. Mm -hmm. Cool. Not, not too much to take in. No. Yeah. All right. Cool. Listen. Let's get let's get cracking on it. I think nice. best thing to do. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Cool. Let's give it a shampoo then. So we just um, shampooed and conditioned Jared's hair. I'm just drying it off a little bit now. Now with the back, do you want to keep all the length? Um. I mean, I'm I'm happy to go a little bit short. It's quite long at the moment, but yeah. I like I want that to be the longest part. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. But I think I that, think we need to have a look, little look at it balances or not. Yeah, you know, when yeah. it gets to when we get the sides cut, I think we need to have a little look how the back goes. Yeah. Um. Because because with normally if I'm doing something like an actual mullet, right? Yeah. I'd normally do the back first, put the shape and texture in. But I think I want to do the sides first and see how that looks. Yeah. So I'm going to start there. So I'm going to start off through here. Start from the recession points. Bring this down. Now this is going to go into a horseshoe as well. But I'm going to do one side first. Okay. 
going to be perfecting the one side first just to then get the symmetry for the other side so again this is like a half horseshoe should we call it right so you have a little look it stops just about there okay so all that's just as it was it's just staying away so we want a noticeable difference on the sides but i don't know whether we want it to be as noticeable as the picture because Charlie says a lot longer than picture and uh, i think we want to have something that is a bit as noticeable maybe not as much so look at the ear now if i bring this back i want to be able to push this back a little bit i feel like maybe if we cut to maybe about here that would then spring up a touch and push back into the back there as well now because we're all taking a bit of length off we're going to do a two finger section like so same again here now one last section through here back We need that difference in length okay we need that to be noticeable to the back which it will be but we still want to add the flow in there we still want to flow nicely into the back we don't want it just to be short then long at the minute it is right so all right it's still going to look like that but i'm going to take three fingers in width from there like so i'm going to pull this all the way back like so and this is going to create my graduation Okay, so this, this is going to create the flow. All right, there won't be a perfect graduation, but this is going to take away that huge effect, right? Take our last section at the front, like so. We've got the drop. We've still got a graduation falling into this. We've still got the heaviness of the sides, but it just gives you a bit more of a graduation on this angle. So it falls into the model. I'm going to make this round into the horseshoe at the back. And now what we do is we bring this hair down here and we match it again. Got a little bit there. There we go. And out. There's our guide. With that drop. Okay. And that's all we're trying to do is just give the same finish as the other side. Out there. A little bit more length on this right hand side down the, under here. There we go. Now, last section. Final guide. There we go. Like so. That side and that side are matching up perfectly. Take a section from here up to there and bring this all the way over we cut that through to match and that's where we create flow into the mullet at the back right so as you can see there's a lot of length still in there again we don't want to lose loads of length so i'm going to take a, a section straight down the center like that take a section from here really wide and i'm going to put this down through the middle so again we can take some length off create some uh, movement through the, the actual back but again we're going to have we've got a guide that we're still following see there's our guide as i pull this through here you see the guide coming in there we go and that will stay long because we're going straight down like so. But we're creating a nice little bit of texture and movement in this. We're still keeping the weight and the heaviness in there. We're just not taking loads of length away. There we go. Pull this in. And match it up. There we go. You can see we're keeping loads of weight and loads of length but we've cut it in that shape right so this haircut comes to life when it's dried that's the beauty of it it'll come to life when it's dried so now head down for me slightly jared and take a little bit off the bottom just to make it balanced that all right with you buddy 
Yeah. Just to make it balanced, yeah. And yeah, we want that to be the, the majority. So you see all the way that oh, much finer the hair gets down the bottom there. I think we just need to take them a little fine bits and connect it to that little section just there, that little guideline there. Gonna work on the sides now, make sure we get the length in there as well. Just bring this down, and we cut to the guide. Now, I do want to thin the back out a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit, right? A bit more flow through here, so we want all that longer length to be in there. I'm just going to take slices throughout, just very sporadically. So we're still giving a lot of weight in there, but also putting them layers in that you kind of want it as well. Because we can't just have loads of length at the back, we need to kind of have a few layers in there at the same time to give a bit more of an easier finish. And it's a little bit finer now to before, you just give a very, very soft finish to the bottom. We can straight down like that to emphasize them flicks. Because like I said, straight on, it needs to be flat like that. Turn the side blends slightly, ever so slightly. They're quite short anyway, but we'll just tidy them up a little bit. Straight down in a profile section, straight down the centre of the head, so either side, like so. Now this is where we want to pick where the fringe sits properly as well, okay? So you've got a section straight down the middle, go back a little bit, and now I think Jared said you want to sit just past the eyes, right? So about here, is that right? Yeah. Cool. Not like that much off, okay? I'm just going to work this around. What we do is we pull this right out until that went down from the angle that I think works. Now, using that side here, bit this up and we match. Like so. We create this triangular shape now. We see a section just on the centre now centre part now, like so. Use our guide there. We use this to start to balance in. It starts to fall into there like that. Now we will fine tune the fringe in a minute. Now we use this section here from the right side to do the same on the other side. session like so come into the sides now last we need to do is just work on this 
kind of connection into the, the back. Pull this out nice and horizontal. Here we go, we've got a guide. We cut just to match. As you can see we're pulling out, we've got a guide underneath. Pull this straight out. There we go, a little tiny bit. It's all the angles now. So we got here, got our angle from before. We need this to sit out, so we have a look at where the length is here. So we need that to match to there. There we go. Frog guide, there we go. Pull that back and just take that little bit off there. Lift it up slightly. Got a guy from underneath as well. Just fine tune. Bottom like that. Now I'm going to put the razor into this now to give some texture through the top as well. I'm going to raise it towards the ends. Like so. All coming back. From just above the ear to the back there as well. Like that. Now, I'm going to dry this off and see what you think. Alright? I'm going to put some salt spray through this on the top. I want this to just fall nicely and we'll finish it off in a little bit. Start with the back, diffuser on. Bring out the shape, okay? So, head back for me again. A bit more if you can. That's great. Just drop the hair in and push it up like that. Fuser off, nozzle on, I'm going to blast the top now. I'm going to scrunch as well. I want this to be a bit more flowy, into that kind of wave and curl at the back. I'm blasting that back off the face, and now I'm going to finish off with the diffuser all over. You see, sits over the ear, but you've got the ear showing still. Do you want it to be? Yeah. And you keep all that length through the bottom of Not all of it, but most of that length sitting through there as well. And that, because of the way we've cut it, all sits in. Back for you now. Check that. How's it looking for you, man? Yeah, it's, it's good. I'm shocked. What's that? I'm shocked. Yeah, yeah. Told you. Yeah. You've got to do it, and you've got to see what you think. Because it's one of those haircuts that you've got to, you've got to attempt it mm -hmm. to see if you like it. Yeah. But it's not too dissimilar in terms of like how you came up with the top. Mm -hmm. It's the same kind of style. We've just cut in the top and the sides, essentially. Much better shape got rid of the bits it. that you don't want. It's got a better shape to it. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Yeah. But it hasn't got the 70s vibe to it, which it would have had if we'd have touched the fringe down a little bit, you know? Yeah. But as you can see, the fringe sits just like here now, just on the cheekbones, mm -hmm. just about here. But as you can see, if you pull that over, it covers the ear. If you bring it back, that's where it starts, that's where it starts to showcase the ear, like the photos, where you start seeing that kind of shorter element at the back being longer as well. Yeah. That's how it all finishes as well. Let me show you the back as well properly, okay? So you can see it properly, all right? One second. So if you want to hold this mirror for me, something, buddy, I'm going to spin you around. I want you to be able to see your hair in the back, right? So that's the back of the nice. hair now, okay? So you've got the heaviness and the mullet effect at the back, but you've got all that lovely layers sitting through it. It sure. looks really nice and natural. That looks good. This side's better to see it within the light. So if you look at that, that's more like the image you showed me on that side. Yeah. You see a bit more. So you've still got that kind of like messy, kind of, you can see all the layers that's being put through it, but you've just got yeah. the same kind of shape. Nice matte texture. As like you requested, yeah. And there's loads of texture in there as well. Yeah. Okay, nice. Thanks, man. Yeah, it really suits you though, man. Yeah. I like it a lot. No, I think your style it, looks good, man. If you, um, if you wouldn't mind, when we're done, pop your jacket on for us, and yeah. I guarantee that this will just go yeah. right out. Yeah, massively.
Thanks, man. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Just let me, just let me see exactly what, if, it, if that's what happens, isn't it? Yeah, man. So I reckon that'll just stand out even more. I think that whole look that you were going on, this is why it's so important to see what you dress like when yeah. it comes to a haircut. Because like me, imagine me with that haircut, it just yeah. wouldn't, it wouldn't match at all, would it? It would feel weird like going into an office like this. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's, yeah, it would, yeah, exactly, yeah. But with, with your, your dress sense, it works perfectly. Yeah, really like it, man. Yeah, man. Awesome. Thanks, Dad, man. Love to meet you, man. Thank you so much, buddy. Thanks, man. Cool. It's but even the way it's got a lot of bounce to it. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I mean. I'm you're not being precious with it, which is what I love. I love the fact I don't need to be like leave here and not be able to touch it. Yeah, like yeah. you've literally styled it yourself. I think you styled it yourself for the after for the after photo. All I done was pull the flicks out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, mean I, I, I don't know. I don't like it too like. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Too pristine or whatever. It's. I mean, you styled it yourself. That says everything for me. Yeah. Yeah, man. Awesome. Thanks, Jared. Nice. Thanks, man.